Hi friends, Sarah here from Sunset Bow, back with another video. It's been a couple of weeks since my last one, but in the meantime, my house is all done getting remodeled. So basically that's what was going on in the past couple of weeks. I didn't have any furniture, I didn't have all my tarot decks, I basically had none of the accoutrements that I needed in order to make a video. Um, so I was, you know, kind of in a state of unable to uh, participate in the community in addition to being incredibly busy. That's also why I have to apologize for the state of my hands and nails because I've been doing a lot of um, carrying of heavy boxes and also stressing out, which makes me eat my fingernails. So, um, so again, apologies for that. Slowly kind of getting back to normal. Um, but so I just wanted to do a video to talk a little bit about some decks that are leaving my connect collection and also do a little bit of a giveaway. So in the process of packing and then unpacking all of my decks, I did a little bit of uh, con Marie time and landed on some decks that I have decided that I am going to part with. And I figured in the process of doing that, it would also be great to pass along some of those decks to um, folks uh, from the YouTube community um, who might be interested in having them because, you know, I just think that uh, it's it's nice to be able to pass along some of these items to somebody who you know will appreciate them. And I also just wanted to sort of celebrate a little bit. I don't have any particular milestone to celebrate on my channel in terms of followers or anything like that. Um, I'm just very happy that in the course of the time that I've had this channel, that there have been folks that have been watching and commenting and are interested um, in what I have to say. And it's just wonderful. And I really appreciate you all. And so I just felt like it was a good time to not only part with some of the things that um, I am no longer connecting with, but to pass them on to other people who connect with them as well. So I'll, at the end of this video, sort of talk through the rules for the, the giveaway, which of which there are very few. Um, it's basically just leave a comment at the bottom of this video when you're in the giveaway. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, I just wanted to sort of go through some of these decks that are leaving and talk a little bit about why I've decided to let them go at this point. So the first deck that I wanted to start talking about um, is I have a copy of the Radiant Rider Weight Tarot. This actually was one of the very first decks that I ever bought. It wasn't the first one I ever bought, but it was among the first. Um, and I've intended to give this away for quite a long time, actually. And you can see that I've got it all sort of, um, you know, reordered and, and everything. And this is a nice colored um, edition of the Rider Waite Smith. Um, and for me, when I first started working with tarot and I knew I wanted a Rider Waite Smith deck. The bright colors in this were what really spoke to me. In the meantime, I have, you know, connected with other um, editions of the Rider Waite Smith that I connect with more than this one. Um, but it's still a really nice deck and I've had it in my head for a while that I was going to give this deck away to the first person um, in my life who expressed an interest in learning tarot. Um, but I figured I might as well open that up to folks in the YouTube um, and Tarot online community as well. So um, this is one of the decks that's going to be on offer for the giveaway if anyone is interested in that. So again, that's the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot. It's again, it's a nice deck. It's just not my favorite edition of the Rider Waite Smith anymore. And I have other ones that I connect with more. So I don't read with this one anymore. And I figured it's one that I would love to pass on to somebody who would appreciate it more. Um, another one of the decks that I am going to be parting with, and I've mentioned this in some other videos, I think in my um, Snog Mary Avoid video, I brought this deck up as the deck that I would divorce, um, and that is the Druid Craft Tarot. And as you can see, my copy of it is in is in nice shape. I still have the outer box and everything. Um, I haven't been storing it in this box. This box has just been it stored in another box so it's still in really good condition um, and the book is also in really good condition I haven't you know worked with it a whole lot you know I've read the book but um, it's still you know in nice shape um, now this deck I did modify so this deck is trimmed um, I did trim it and I also uh, edged it in brown so it's edged with a brown sharpie and you can kind of see that you know the the sharpie is just the tiniest little bit on the front as well. So there's the thinnest, thinnest sort of tiny brown border around the edges of all of these cards. But aside from that, the cards are borderless. And I think I did a pretty um, a pretty good 
job of trimming it. It's, it's pretty even. Um, there aren't cards that really, you know, stick up or cause problems when you're shuffling it. So, and again, you know, this deck is just, um, it's a beautiful deck. It's beautiful artwork. I know that this deck is a real workhorse for a lot of people and a lot of people really love it. Um, it's just one that for me, it just isn't kind of speaking to where I am right now. And I have worked with this deck in the past and I've enjoyed working with it. Um, but it, I think our time together has kind of come to an end. So, um, this is another one that's going to be on offer for the giveaway. Um, and, and again, you know, it, it is modified, but aside from that, I do think I did a pretty good job of the modification. And aside from that, it's in really, really good shape. So, um, just another one that I am planning to, uh, to let go of. So a third deck that I am planning on letting go of is the John Bauer Tarot. And this one is barely used. Um, you know, you can see that there's a little tiny bit of like shelf wear on the box. Um, but aside from that, it's barely used. And this one, I have to admit, is a little bit of a wrench to give away because I actually love this artwork. Um, I love the artwork in this deck. I love John Bauer's artwork. Um, I live in Minnesota. I am extremely Scandinavian in terms of heritage. This artwork really speaks to me. Um, the book of Scandinavian folk and fairy tales that I had when I was a kid that I read constantly had John Bauer's artwork on the cover. Um, I, I absolutely adore the artwork in this deck. I just have trouble reading with it. And this is one of those decks where, you know, I feel like keeping it for an art object isn't something that I necessarily want to do. It's just sort of taking up space. I don't reach for it. So despite the fact that I absolutely adore this artwork, um, I am going to be letting this deck go. Um, but as you can see, it is really beautiful. Um, I haven't modified this deck at all. It has these really cool backings on it. Um, there's a lot to love about this deck. It's just not one that I ever use, despite the fact that I, I love this artist and I love this artwork. So, um, so it's another one that I'm kind of ready to pass on. So this is another one that will be an option in the giveaway. And that is again, the John Bauer Tarot. So another deck that I'm going to be giving away and is, this isn't even a deck so much it is, as it is a deck in a book is this illustrated Herbieri book, which is a cool book. It has a lot of cool information in it. Um, the reason that I'm giving this up is just because in terms of botanical oracles, I prefer the Hedgewitch Botanical Oracle to this. I prefer both the artwork on the cards as well as the information in the book. Um, and so this is, this is really cool. I mean, it's a really cool book and it does come with a deck of cards. So I have separated the cards, but aside from that, they're basically barely used. Um, and they're all just in this little envelope in the back of the book. Um, but so, you know, this is another one where I have decided that um, I don't need to taking up space on my shelf because I don't use it. Um, and I have another botanical oracle that kind of fills the need here. So, um, so this is another one that will be a option in the giveaway. Um, so another deck that I am letting go of, and again, this is one that's a little bit tough, but I know it's the right thing to do, is the Wild Unknown. Now, I mean, the Wild Unknown is an amazing deck. Again, it's a huge workhorse for a lot of people. I think this is a deck where people either deeply, deeply love it, or they just don't connect with it at all. Um, I have used this deck at times, but it just has never really spoken to me as much as I want a deck to if I'm going to keep it in my collection. In fact, most of the reason that I've held on to this for so long is because I also have the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Oracle, and I love that oracle. I use that oracle all the time. I adore it. It's one of my favorite oracle decks. And so I've almost kind of kept this just because it felt like I should keep the set, you know? But again, that's kind of a silly reason to hold on to a deck. But again, I mean, it's basically in perfect condition. I haven't used it very much at all. Um, it's a lovely deck. And if this is one that you've been interested in checking out, um, 
you know, this is this is a it, it, it's it's an interesting deck. It has a different take on some of the cards. It has sort of a merciless feeling to it, in in my opinion. Um, to me, this deck, it I mean, it feels like nature, and it feels like it speaks to life and death and the cycles of nature in a very sort of matter of fact way. Um, so, you know, merciless isn't really quite the right word for it, but it's just sort of, it's very blunt in the way that nature is, you know. Um, but it is a very beautiful deck. And again, it's in basically perfect condition. Um, so I have the deck, um, obviously I also have the guidebook. The guidebook is also in perfect condition. And then I also ha do have the outer box that both of these go in you know they both go in like a larger box as a kit I have that as well so it will go all together as the kit when it goes um, I've just I've had that box in storage because I didn't want it taking up space on my shelves um, but uh, but yeah so this is another one that I do um, plan to finally say goodbye to okay so another Oracle deck that I am gonna let go of is this Botanical Inspirations Oracle so, and this is actually a really lovely deck. It's very beautiful. Um, and this is mostly florals. You know, most of the plants featured in this deck are floral um, flowers. Uh, and there's sort of a pretty strong kind of language of flowers sort of element to the guidebook. Um, and it's really beautiful. You know, it has these gorgeous illustrations. Um, each of the cards has the common name of the flower, the Latin name, a keyword and then a very nice little quote at the bottom it's I mean it's just it's really really pretty again I don't really reach for this because I have another botanical Oracle that I prefer um, but it's really lovely you know it's I mean just from an aesthetic standpoint it is a gorgeous gorgeous deck um, and it comes in this nice box I actually really like the way that this box opens and it also comes with um, some other little extras in the box so it comes with the little guidebook which you know has a couple of pages on each of the cards um, it comes with an extra little organza bag to keep the cards in if you're one of those folks who would prefer to keep them in a bag rather than in the box um, it comes with this is just the title card um, and then it also comes with this little fold out um, about the language of flowers so this just sort of you know talks about the the meanings of, of all the different flowers that are featured in this deck so it is a very sort of like as you can see just from the aesthetic of it it's a very kind of Victorian language of flowers kind of deck um, and again it's really really beautiful so I am again planning on um, you know letting this one go but if this is the kind of deck that you'd be interested in, it's really lovely. It's in perfect condition. It's barely used. Um, it, it is quite, quite a nice deck. So, okay. So another deck that I am going to be parting with, and again, not because it's not cool and not because it's not beautiful, but just because I personally don't use it enough to justify having it in my collection. And that is the Art of Life Tarot. And this deck is so cool. I mean, it's a re again a really really cool deck. It's it's not the kind of deck that I would ever do like a reading with. And again, I did put this. Oh, maybe I didn't put this one back in order. I'll I'll, I'll put all of them back in order before I send them out to anybody. Um, but uh, basically, it's not the kind of deck that you would probably do a reading with. I mean, you certainly could um, because it, it is a tarot deck, but it's really more designed to be the kind of deck that you sort of, sorry, my cats are freaking out. Now that I have a hardwood floor, they just slide all over the place when they're playing. Um, where was I? Oh, anyway, so this is more designed to be the type of deck where you kind of pull a card from it on a daily basis and sort of sit with that card. And the box is actually designed with this little frame on the cover where you can actually you can actually set um, set it up so that it, it sits up like a little frame and you can put a card inside the frame so that you can you know kind of look at it and meditate on it over the course of the day. Um, but so each of the the um, cards has this beautiful work of art on it for all different artists. It does tell you who the artist is, um, what picture it is, and it also includes a lovely quote um, on each of the cards. They have these beautiful Tree of Life backs, it's, which is a Klimt painting, um, and 
it, it, I mean, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous deck. But um, again, it's just one where I don't find myself really reaching for it and using it in the way I feel like it should be used. So it's one that I, again, do think that uh, I am ready to pass on. But, you know, even as I go through this deck and look at all these paintings, you can just see, I, like, look at this strength as uh, Queen Elizabeth I. I mean, it's it's got really wonderful thought put into the cards that were chosen um, for each of the, or for the paintings that were chosen for each of the cards. And, um, you know, it's just lovely. This is hilarious. Napoleon is the King of Wands. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful deck and it's just really cool. So, um, another one that, uh, I am planning to part with. And so I also have, um, three sort of smaller decks that I am, um, parting with as well. Um, so one of those, and this feels like horrible timing given that we just lost David Palladini a couple of days ago. Um, and, and obviously, I mean, the man was an incredible artist and the decks that he created are classics. Um, but I am going to be letting go of the Aquarian Tarot in a tin, um, which is, you know, again, it's in perfect condition. I just got this like late last summer and I barely used it. So it's, you know, definitely a deck that, um, that is in really, really good condition. Um, and you know, it's, it's one of these nice little, uh, us games, decks and tins. And it's, again, this is, a, I mean, it's a classic deck available in a tin, great travel deck. If this is the kind of, um, artwork that appeals to you, you know, for me, I just found that I had other ones that I reached for more and I wasn't using this one enough again to justify it taking up the shelf space, but it's a really beautiful and cool deck. One of the things that I like about this one in particular is the way that the titles of the cards are integrated into the artwork on the majors. Um, I just think that's really cool. You know, the faces are really serene. The artwork is very medieval meets 70s meets art deco i guess it i mean it's it's you can tell that it was created in the 70s in terms of the color palette but all of the characters have this very medieval feel you know to their costumes and then the design work of it feels very very art deco so i mean it's just it's a cool deck and it's a classic deck and obviously you know it's it's one of those ones where a lot of people would say that you know, it, it's the kind of deck that everybody should have in their collection. But again, I didn't find myself reaching for it enough to justify keeping it on my shelf. So I'm going to be letting this one go. I just, I have other travel decks and tins that I use more. Um, so I also, I'm going to be letting go of this little tarot to go kit, um, which is so cute. It's just this tiny little kit. It's got this little book in it that just gives you some basic information about cards, you know, a Celtic cross spread, um, just some really, really basic information. And then it has included this teeny tiny little mini version of the Hanson Roberts Tarot, which if I could get it out of the box would be great. I have put this one back in order the other day, as I recall. Um, so it's this tiny little, just palm size, great travel deck um, copy of the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck, which is another classic deck. This one has very more of an Art Nouveau kind of backing on it. Um, but again, a, a classic deck. The funny thing for me is that when I was first learning tarot back in the early 2000s, the Hanson Roberts deck is one of the decks that I bought and I decided I didn't like it and I actually passed it on to a friend. And I have no idea why I thought I would like it better if it was even smaller. Um, but for some reason, you know, I saw this little thing and it's like $7 when you see it in the store and I just went ahead and bought it because it was so inexpensive. And then again, all it does is gather dust on my shelf because I don't connect so much with the Hanson Roberts deck, but it's a wonderful deck. It's beautiful. 
Um, it, the illustrations are these wonderful colored pencils illustrations by Mary Hansen Roberts. It's a classic deck. And um, this little tiny copy of it is so cute. So again, it's a great little travel size deck if you like the Hanson Roberts. Um, so that is another one that I am going to be letting go of. Um, and then the final deck that I'm actually going to be letting go of is this little Everyday Tarot deck. Um, this is from Biddy Tarot. So this just came out last fall. I mean, it, it came out quite recently. And again, it's a great little deck. Um, it comes in this nice little kit with a little book that gives you information on each of the cards. Um, and it's in this little magnetic container. I will say that the box that holds the cards is actually quite difficult to open, which may be one of the reasons why I don't reach for this one as much. Um, but it is, again, it's a sweet little deck. I think I put this one in order too. Yeah, I did. Um, it's a sweet little deck. It has these sort of matte gold gilded edges. The color scheme throughout is just white, purple, and gold. Um, there's a couple of just quick reference cards on there. And it has these very, very tr stylized but very traditional illustrations that are all done in these um, colors of white, purple, and gold. Um, and it's a cool deck. I know a lot of people who love this one, a lot of people who read with it a lot. Um, you know, it, when it came out, it was so inexpensive that I think a lot of people just went ahead and bought it, me included, um, because it was just such an inexpensive deck. And then again, I have other small travel decks that I reach for more. I don't reach for this one as much. Um, and so I just decided that, you know, I could go ahead and pass it on and make more use of uh, the decks that... Um, that I already do have in my collection that I'm more inclined to use uh, as, as travel decks. So, um, so again, this is the Everyday Tarot deck. Um, this is, was published last fall by Biddy Tarot. And um, yeah, it's a popular deck. It's a great, I mean, honestly, it's a great little deck. There is absolutely nothing wrong with it as a deck. It's just not one that I reach for very much. So anyway, those are the decks that are going to be leaving my collection. And um, what I wanted to do in terms of a giveaway was just to give away a couple of these decks to um, to someone in, in the community. So um, my what my plan was is, um, in terms of the rules, if you're interested in entering the giveaway, go ahead and comment on this video down below that you'd like to be entered. Um, it would be awesome if you were following my channel too. Obviously, I have no way of checking for that. So, you know, I mean, you do you, but it would be nice of you. <laughs> so, um, you know, so please just go ahead and comment below. Um, I'm going to close the giveaway Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So comment before that, and then I will be doing a random selection of a person um, from that list, um, I'm gonna. I'll be shipping worldwide, so wherever you are, um, you know, just don't don't worry about uh, about location. If you're somewhere where a tarot deck can be shipped, I will ship the deck to you. Um, and and actually, it's gonna be decks because my plan was, if you had, to, to whoever wins the giveaway can pick two decks um, from this full collection, um, or if you just wanted these little decks, um, the, the Aquarian, the Tarot to go and the everyday tarot. Um, another option would be to take all three of these because honestly, these are very inexpensive and it isn't worth it to ship them unless I would be shipping all three of them. So, um, so the, you know, those are the options, basically any two decks from what I showed in this video. So again, that's the botanical inspirations, the John Bauer, the Druid Craft, and again, the Druid Craft is modified. It is the full kit with the book and everything, but it is trimmed and edged. The Wild Unknown, and again, this is the full um, kit, so I do have the larger box that these go in, and that will be included um, if somebody does choose that one. Um, the Illustrated Herbiary, it is an option. Um, the Radiant Rider Weight. The Art of Life, and then the Tarot to Go, the Everyday Tarot, or the Aquarian Tarot. So, so again, the the prize for the giveaway is any two of these decks, or if you want 
all three of the little decks, you can have all three of the little decks. Um, so yeah, so just, you know, please feel free to comment below. Again, there's no particular rhyme or reason to why I'm doing this as a giveaway. I don't have any particular milestone to celebrate. I just want to pass on some of these decks to somebody who is part of the community, um, who will appreciate them and, you know, who I know loves tarot and is, um, interested in specifically working with one or more of these decks. Um, so, so yeah. So again, comment, uh, below by, 6 p.m. Central Time in the United States, so that's U.S. Central Time, on Sunday, and that's this coming Sunday, which I should have looked that up. What is that going to be? April uh, 6th? I think April 6th or 7th? Oh my god. I'll put it in the box below. I can't believe I didn't look that up before I made this video. Um, but so this coming Sunday, which is again, April 6th or 7th, I'm not quite sure, 2019. <laughs> um, and uh, and I'll be picking um, that evening and uh, we'll post uh, the winner of the giveaway. And again, you can pick any two of these decks that I featured in this video or all three of the little decks if that's what you're interested in having. So I just want to thank everybody who has been uh, subscribed to this channel and who has been, you know, even remotely interested in hearing what I have to say about tarot. It's so wonderful to be able to just, you know, connect with folks who are part of this community where we're all interested in the same things and, um, you know, have a lot of interesting knowledge and wisdom uh, and information to share and I've loved being a part of it. So, you know, even though my channel is very tiny, um, it's been fun to feel like I have an outlet for my own thoughts. Um, if I want to share them with folks who are also interested in these things and I just appreciate you all so much for being a part of that. So thank you again. And, uh, hopefully we'll be back really soon with some more videos now that I have a house and furniture and all my tarot decks available to me and a place to sit and film videos. So thanks again, everyone. Have a great one. Bye-bye.